Are you the no makeup, makeup kind of gal? Maybe you've tried many attempts at makeup and you just feel like it only enhances flaws, age, texture. Well, today I am wearing no traditional makeup, zero. I have a tinted moisturizer and I do have my brow pencil on and that's it. And then I'm wearing Lashify, of course. That's why my eyes look kind of made up. There's nothing on my eyes, but I have no traditional makeup on. I can show you how to get rid of distractions on your face so that you can fool family, friends, anyone who comes up close to you into looking like you have a more flawless look without wearing any makeup. Wouldn't you love that? I love how I look close up. And that's what we are here at the Close Up Club. So you're in the right place. If you are looking for a no makeup makeup look, especially with summer coming up, and I'm glad you're here. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle Spieler, a professional makeup artist of over 25 years. I used to work in the Hollywood industry for a decade, and now I am the creator of Mature Makeup Masterclass. I created a series of over 20 videos, all on mature technique. Go over there. You can always click the link in um, my description box. You just hit the title of today's video and a description box pops, pops down. You owe it to yourself to just go over there and find out why you need Mature Makeup Masterclass. It's a one-time fee. Right now it's $57. It's been $57 for 15 months. I priced it low on purpose. I wanted everyone to have access to it, but I'm going to start an affiliate program next month, so I will be raising the price. So get in now, $57. The price is going up starting, I think, June 5th. I think June 5th. So get in, get in now. Okay, so today we are gonna do the no makeup makeup look. If you are new here every Wednesday night, I do videos all on Saint and Demi. I've been with Saint for close to a year and a half, pretty much changed my life. It's the makeup I wear when I want to look beautiful close up, whether I'm doing a super glam look, a soft glam look, an everyday look, or today a no make makeup look. It is my favorite look by far. Um, it's just beautiful makeup. It's made for mature skin, but women of all ages use it. Now, to save us time, you if you're gonna do the no makeup makeup look, one, you, you probably have to work pretty hard on your skin because in order to pull off a no makeup makeup look, you do want your skin to look pretty even for the most part. We're gonna go in and fix that, but no one's skin is perfect, right? So I started with a glowy SPF. You could do Glow Screen by Super Goop. I like this one, you can tell I've used it. I, or I have another one somewhere too, I ordered another one. Um, this was PR gifted to me. Uh, this is the Dew Glow Moisturizer SPF 50. I love it. Look at that beautiful glow. I have it on my neck as well. But I ordered my second one with my own money because that's how good this is. I could reach out to them and ask them for more for free. But sometimes I like to actually pay for my products and support the brand because it's like my way of saying bravo. I absolutely love this. Okay. Um, and then after I let that sit for a couple minutes, I go in with a tinted sun, uh, tinted moisturizer. Now you don't have to do this step if you don't want, but I feel more comfortable in that it kind of evens me out except close up. You can still see skin, right? You can still see pores. You can still see sunspots, right? We can still see all that. So we're not talking a lot here. Today I have on the Maybelline BB Cream in medium. You can see my neck is a little lighter. So this is a uh, medium is more of my summer color. In the winter, fall, winter, early spring, I do light and this is medium. Love it, $7.99. The pink label is for normal to dry skin. The blue label is called pure instead of fresh and it is for normal to oily combo skin, okay? Has an SPF 30 in it, but you're not gonna put enough of it on for it to work, so put an SPF under it. I also love Say, this is one of my favorite tinted moisturizers of all time. This also has an SPF 35 and Typology from Paris. I love, love, love this, but I wanted to wear Maybelline today because I really feel like more of you have access to this and you can get it without having to pay for shipping, okay? So that's what I have on. We can still see, my skin's not perfect. You can see all my lines on my forehead. You can see my dark circles, but that's okay, right? So 
want to show you something else I have. Um, I picked up this Rock Multi Corrective Glow Eye Balm with vitamin E, and I think it has a little vitamin C. That's why it's this orange color. I've been finding you don't want to put it on too thick, okay? Because then you're going to get buildup. But if I just do one layer, look at that. That I almost feel like that lightened it a little bit. But if I just do one swipe, you know, almost like you're putting on lip balm, except under the eye, and then I kind of tap it in, I feel like my next step's coming for Demi. Just go on smoother. You can get that anywhere. That's just the rock eye balm. Isn't it great? Okay, so here we go. Now, I highly recommend the Demi brushes for Demi, okay? This is the spot brush. I'm going to use this a lot today. This is the bright brush. I'm not going to use this as much because I'm doing a different technique today. And then if money's tight right now, you could always go to like a Michaels or Hobby Lobby and get like little teeny tiny art brushes, real teeny tiny. They're usually around five bucks or less, okay? And we're going to do that today. I'm not wearing Bella bronzer today either. So, wow, wow. I'm gonna do a look without Bella. Yes, I am. So this was my gateway drug to Saint. If you are new here, this is the Demi Artist Kit. They no longer sell these for artists, but when I got in with Demi, you had to buy the Demi Artist Kit. It was a separate website from Saint, kind of a separate company. You had to get certified, so you had to submit a five minute video showing your knowledge on Demi demonstrating on yourself and then um, Kara, the owner and her team would quickly view it and they would certify you or not certify you. So I got certified right away and um, those are all the fun colors. So we look for colors on our face and then what we do is we cancel it, okay? So we are gonna start with, let me get close here, all of this blue and purple lots and lots of blue and purple. Now, what's the opposite of blue on the color wheel? Let's see. Opposite of blue on the color wheel is orange, right? So we've got purple going into yellow and blue going into orange. So anything in this range is going to cancel out that color, but we are gonna put it on Oh, so tiny like this, not my normal. Now, normally I would take it on a bright brush and I would feather it and I would take some of this and feather it, but we're gonna just go in because sometimes I feel like some of y'all maybe wear too much of it. I've seen women put it on like it's concealer thick. No, Demi is not meant to go on like that. So we're gonna take a little bit. I kind of roll it so I get it all on the tip, right? And then Watch this. I'm gonna go tap it on my hand first because I don't wanna get off any excess. I'm gonna go only where I have the dark. And I'm telling you, I am putting this on so lightly, okay? So lightly I'm putting this on. I also have this darkness that goes up in here. So you can see here, I'm still really dark. Now we're starting to cancel it out only where the color is. We're not taking it everywhere, right? This is not concealer. and I'm almost pixelating it. And some people are like, what does that mean? It's almost like, it's almost like pointillism. Did you ever study art history? Pointillism was where an artist would do the whole painting in little polka dots. And when you viewed it from far away, you could see the image. You could understand, oh, these are people um, like, the Sunday afternoon painting by George Seurat, it was all little 
polka dots, but when you got real close up to it, all you see is polka dots. So you had to pull far away for you able to be able to really focus on what the image was. This is almost what we're doing under the eye. If you just paint it on in a solid color, it's going to look like a solid color and it's going to look like you're trying to do concealer. And that's not what Demi is. Demi is a color corrector. It's color canceling color. And I can do this so quickly, but I'm going slow because I really want you to understand what I'm doing here, okay? Now you can get real close up and I just look like I have nice real skin there. Then I'm gonna go in and I've got these blue veins. And again, I'm just kind of polka dotting it on a couple areas, like the most visible areas of the blue vein, but I'm not painting the whole blue vein out because then you're gonna see peach painted in a line and we don't want that, okay? That looks great to me. We're gonna do half my face and then I'm gonna show you the difference, okay? Now, I'm gonna clean that brush off. I'm gonna take this little art brush and I'm gonna go in with some green, yellow, one. Do you see these huge dents on the side of my nose? And thank you so much to Morita and I forget the other person, was it Chrissy or Christine? Y'all went on my Saturday YouTube and you told me that I can get contacts. Cause see, I'm, I'm farsighted. I can see far away really well. I still have 20-20 vision, even at 55 years old. But y'all told me that I could do one contact with the lowest, lowest prescription for farsightedness and I could do one reader. And then I don't have to wear readers anymore because they leave these ginormous dents. So I'm going in and just in a couple areas. So see, we got that dent there and then this one. Now we're not gonna get rid of it entirely because it's a dent, right? What do I say to you? It's a 3D issue it's this dent is sinking in. So anytime any type of light hits it, we're gonna have concave shadowing. We just are, it's just three-dimensional. You can't get rid of three-dimensional. But I'm looking in this little 10 time magnification mirror and I'm telling you there is zero red left on my nose, zero. So, you know, we can get rid of excess color. We just can't get rid of dents, any dents on the face, any puffiness on the face. We can't get rid of that with color. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with this same little brush. Look how little it is. See that green yellow? Now I could totally do Y01. I could do Y01, but sometimes I have more success with green yellow one. It just really depends on the person. It's one of those things where that's why you need a free color match so I can really look at your skin and determine if Y01 or green yellow one works better. See, and then see how I'm still red here, but now that's all canceled out. So do you see how little I'm putting on? And because I'm putting on so little, it's gonna stay all day, okay? So there we go. Now I'm gonna go back in with my little brush and I'm gonna go back into O3 and I have a lot I have a lot of sunspots let's see you know what I think I need I'm gonna do oh one and then I also have or one 
Now, sunspots, and this is not going to really make a lot of sense at first, but sunspots have a lot of green. It's brown, right? We see brown. We see brown sunspots. But for most people, there's a lot of green in that brown. And so what we're doing is we're going in with either... O1 or RO1. Now sometimes because I have more yellow, now look, I'm, I see a huge vein here on the side. So I'm just, now I know this seems like a lot of tedious work, but trust me, once you know your distractions on your face and you know the colors, you're going to go in and just real quickly go in a few areas and you're done. For me, when I used RO1, it would still sometimes I could still see it because I'm I'm more like real yellowy so for some reason on me the O1 works better on the sunspots than the RO1 you're going to see a lot of different artists saying no 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 you need RO1 but honestly there's also blue in sunspots there's sometimes blue and for me I find the O1 works better. For other people who are more neutral or more pink skin, the R01 is brilliant for sunspots. Okay, so I am really happy with that. And then I'm looking on my chin down here. I have a little bit, tiny bit. Just doing half my chin. In this little area where I'm really reddish purple, I'm pixelating, again, a little bit of the green yellow one. Did you see how I did that? See, I'm still a little bit more pinky purple here, and that's more neutral. And then you could always take your feathery brush with nothing on it, and you could quickly, look, just quickly feather that in. Right now, I have a lot of natural coloring on my eyelid as I've gotten older. I'm just leaving that. We are leaving that. And then I see a lot of people using RO5 for blush. And you could totally do that if you want to go for a really peachy coral look. See that? But I don't love that one for blush because to me it looks more like you're wearing makeup. Nobody, no one blushes this color. It clearly looks like it's pretty. It's going to look skin like, but nobody turns this color when they flush or blush, right? But we all have blood under our skin and we can all turn a little pink in the cheeks, which is why. I recommend R5 for literally everyone, unless you're dark, dark skin. But it's honestly gonna be the prettiest color. Ooh, I got a lot on there. Don't be afraid to tap it on your hand first if you ever feel like you pick up too much, but watch this. I'm just kinda like, patting it on. And then it literally looks like I pinched my cheeks, okay? And there you have it. There is our no makeup makeup look. Here's this side, not bad. I could go out like this. I have a natural dark brow, there's nothing in my brows. I have Lashify on and I have tinted moisturizer. I could go out like this and not be embarrassed, but this side's cuter. This side's cuter, okay? So now I'm gonna do this other side real quick and let you watch and then we'll see how it all looks in the end. Okay, so my point in speeding this up is just so you can see my process. You saw me explain it on one side, but here I am doing it on the other side and it really just becomes autopilot once you've learned where your distractions are on the face and what color needs to correct those. 
you can see as I'm looking in the mirror, I'm really looking for areas that catch my eye. Anything that catches my eye, I will go in with the appropriate demi color. And if anything looks too heavy or too opaque, I will go in with the fluffy side of the brush. Again, you just constantly look in the mirror to see what catches your eye. The redness around my nose always catches my eye. And again, like I said, I can use GY1 or Y01. Of course, I cannot stand the dents on the side of my nose from my readers, so those I always do. But once I put my readers on, they get deep again. And here I'm going back into the chin because I get kind of a reddish purple. And the R5 really is the most skin-like blush you will ever use. Looks like you just lightly pinched your cheeks. And again, the veins at my temples really catch my eye, so I like to polka dot some of that. Okay, do you see that sheen? That's our natural skin showing through, right? That's the glowy SPF I have on. Tinted moisturizer is always going to have a pretty glow, even if you're using the normal to oily. But see that sheen? That's something that only real skin can give you. You're never going to get that from a traditional makeup product. Now I'm going to take NV plus one, plus one. I always tap it on my hand a little bit. And then I'm going to take the tiniest bit under my lashes so it looks like natural shadows, so it makes my eyes look a little bit bigger. And again, it's not an eyeliner. We're painting a natural shadow. And I don't go past the pupil. I literally just keep it on the outside of my eye only. Okay, and it's great because it kind of completes the outside of the eye, and yet it doesn't look like eye makeup. Also, you noticed I did not take Demi. I did not take any of the peaches all the way up to the lash line because it doesn't look natural. It's gonna close your eyes and make them look more tiny and narrow. I love the spot brush because it's so easy just to wiggle a little bit on your upper upper lash line. And it, it's, it just lightly extends that eye, just lightly. And it, and it creates this like really pretty shadow that close up, nobody is going to see as eyeliner. It's going to just look like a natural shadow. It doesn't even look like eyeshadow. It just looks like nat natural shadow. And that's because of the sort of sheerness and luminosity of the dummy. There's no eyeshadow that's going to replicate that look. So that's why it just looks like this really pretty natural shadow. Now, one step I do find very important is to do setting spray. And remember, you're going to be quite liberal with it because you really want it to stay on. See how liberal I was with that? See how wet I look? And then we can always, if you're in a hurry, just dry it off. Okay. I have nothing on my forehead. Nothing. I have nothing on my forehead. Now I could go in with a little bit of the vanilla dusting powder and just where I'm shiny in the T-zone. See, we still have a glow, but we are cutting a little bit of that shine. Look, still I have that glow. It's the center of the forehead and the sides of the nose that really cre greasy look. So if you can get rid of that, and I am just barely tapping my skin because even though I use setting spray, I don't wanna lift any of that demi back up, okay? And then I don't like to look greasy in my temple. I like being sh like sheeny up here and I like have sheen on my upper cheekbone, but I don't like my temple. And there we go. What do you think? No makeup, makeup. 
And then you could always do um, a really, really natural, oops. That's all. Look, BFF. Look how simple. Just color pop BFF. So simple. And then I can even take the tiniest bit, tiniest bit. Of that R5, just the tiniest bit, almost none. That might even be too much. Well, it looks more on camera than it does in real life. And take a pretty lip balm. I mean, I love this look. Now you know, you know me. I would love some Bella on, but I'm not gonna put it on today, okay? I'm gonna force myself to, to do something different. But I would love a little Bella up here and the sides of the cheeks, maybe a little bit on the nose and the, the, the um, neck a little bit. But I feel great. And I feel like I look really, really good close up. See that sheen? Now remember, the Demi corrects color, but it can't take away shadow, natural shadow. So if you're shadowing here, if you're shadowing anywhere on the face, the temple, anywhere down here, I'm getting some shadows right here, you can't correct shadows. That is three-dimensional. That means you need to follow, you need to have someone follow you all day long with Oprah lighting because Oprah had the best lighting in the business. Even all the cameramen and all the lighting people I've ever met in the industry have all said, oh, you need that Oprah lighting. It's a joke. It's she had the best lighting in all of television and everywhere she went, she looked good because they knew how to light her. If we walked around with Oprah lighting, you wouldn't see the light and shadows on our face but you can see it in real life, but at least we got rid of excess color. We got rid of distractions. We got rid of little sunspots and little veins. We popped a little cute color on our cheeks so that we look like we're kind of, you know, flushed. And we put a little shadowing on the eyes, but we look like a no makeup makeup look. I know it seems a little tedious in the beginning. It is gonna take some time to learn. There is a learning curve. That's why I do a free color match too. Don't assume that the colors I use, you can use. Everyone has different colors in the face and when you send me a bare face selfie, I can identify what colors I'm seeing and tell you the proper demi to correct it, okay? To cancel it out. Now. I could also go in with all of my saint. You know, if I if someone said, hey, let's go out to dinner tonight, I could easily take my beautiful new Athens and a little bronzer and add a little bit more to this face and boom, I'm ready for evening. But this is the most beautiful no makeup makeup look. There's nothing like it out there. And all we're doing is identifying. You even saw in the video where I saw a little like weird area down here and I just kind of pixelated it and now I don't see it anymore. It's not a distraction. So wherever you see distractions on your face, that's what Demi's for. Just gets rid of your distractions so that your beautiful glowing skin can shine through. Now, if you need help with beautiful glowing skin, that's another story. We can we can do a video on that. I probably need to do an up, a, a upcoming skincare video probably in June, okay? Sometimes it can take three months to a year to work on your skin. But I promise you, it is not money and time wasted because once you can correct your skin problems, once you can even it out more, once you can get this beautiful glow, it makes everything else easier, makes makeup easier. You wear less makeup 
when you feel really good in your skin, okay? I hope that helps. Please reach out for a free color match. Don't try to wing it on your own. I got all the wrong colors when I first started and I just thought I knew better and I didn't. So don't make that mistake. Okay, I am taking a week off to go to the beach with my family. I will do some YouTube shorts just to, you know, stay around, just to say hey and stay around. But I will be taking a week off of YouTube. So this Saturday, I have a great Dyson video. Um, it's all on the new tool. And even if you think like, oh, I don't really care about hair, this is only 15 minutes, which you know is a miracle for me. And it's a really unique hair tool. I've never seen or used anything like it in my life. And I bought it with my own money. It's not PR. It's not an ad. I bought it with my own money, but it's so unique. I felt like I needed to do a video. Then in June, I will be back with um, a skincare video, a Jones Road Beauty, how to go really glam with Jones Road Beauty because I've always shown you more natural looks. And um, we'll see what else. You guys always have some great ideas, so we'll see. All right, God loves you and so do I. Bye for now.